By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are going to look at a game that I played against Alan, and he's playing with a reanimator deck. And I'm playing with my Tron deck that you've seen before, but I wanted to share just this specific game with you because the deck of Anna is just working like a clock. Uh, maybe interesting to know is that we did sideboard already. This is a second game and Anna is on the play. And here he goes with the Mox and he's cracking the Lotus and he's playing a Wheel of Fortune. And when you play a reanimator deck, this is probably the best start possible because you want creatures in your graveyard, obviously, to reanimate. And you can already see he has a Suchi there and um, and a Vampire, but that's not enough. He's playing a Recall. He's um, <clears throat> drawing three extra cards now, playing some Moxen, and still having a full hand thanks to that Recall. So this is really a dream scenario. And remember, I mean, it's still turn one. I haven't done a single thing. And there's the Bazaar of Baghdad, meaning he can draw three, uh, two cards and has to discard three. Again, ideal when you're running Reanimator. He's putting a Suchi in there. So he has a Suchi, a uh, Vampire, and another Suchi in the graveyard. And he's playing another one. So he has a 4-4 flying turn one and a graveyard full of goodies for him to reanimate. So this is obviously a problem for me. Let's see what I can do against all this violence. So this is my turn one, taking away the bazaar, and I'm not even sure if this is a good move, because the bazaar doesn't have to do a lot of work anymore. His graveyard is filled with creature spells already, and there he goes playing a scrubland, attacking me, and I'm down to 16, and of course he's playing a demonic tutor, why not? Let's just play all the restricted cards possible in one or two turns. So this is pretty crazy. But I can enjoy these games. When when a deck is going off like this, you know, I, all I can do is really just enjoy and sit back. I am playing a Library of Alexandria. Usually I would feel pretty good, but with this board state, I'm feeling pretty, well, not miserable. I'm enjoying the game, but there's no chance that I can win this one. So he's playing a Sarah Angel. And maybe I can play some removal now with the white mana. And there's the Swords on his Angel. So he's gaining 4 life, so I'm on 12 and he's on 24. And attacking me again, going down to 8. And there it is, All Hallows Eve. And that's actually the, the old school card that kind of brought us the mechanic Suspend, I guess. So during his upkeep, one counter is going to go, and when all the counters are off, all the creatures in all grave, graveyards are going to come back onto the battlefield. And that's why you see me discarding Triskelion there um, right now, actually. So there are two Triskelions in my graveyard because I'm hoping, or actually I'm doing that because they're they're coming back uh, when All Hallows Eve triggers. And I've played a Maze of If to keep that vampire off my back. So finally a turn where I don't get any damage. So that's great. Oh no, it's got a new bazaar. I couldn't really see what he's putting in there. I do see a Time Walk in his graveyard. And so next turn, all the creatures are going to return to the battlefield, all the creatures that are in the graveyard. And already having a 4-4 flyer on the board, but I have my Maze of Death. What am I going to play for two? I'm play playing a Chaos Orb. That's pretty good. Passing turn. And this is interesting, before the trigger goes off, or actually in response off, he plays his Bazaar of Baghdad, and maybe, I'm not sure if you could see that properly, but he was discarding a Juzum Jin and an Angel with that last Bazaar trigger, so that's just insane. So look at the board state. There are two Vampires, an Angel, a 5-5 five five Juzum Jin, and two Suchis. I mean, this is, this is crazy. Um, and I'm on 8 life, so I'm not sure how I can survive this. Of course, I have two Trikes, so that's 6 damage in total that I can do, two flyers. I can disenchant the Suchi, but I believe the flyers are my biggest problem. I also have a Chaos Orb that I can flip still, and I have the, I, and I have the Maze of If. So I have some weapons to use against uh, Anna's deck. 
And I think I'm going to flip on the Angel. Not on the Juzum Jin here because the Juzum Jin doesn't have flying. So I can always jump block the Juzum. And he's playing a disenchant on one of my trikes. So he's kind of forcing my hand here. So I have to remove three counters. Probably going to use it to get rid of one of the vampires. And I do. And this is a problem. So I'm, I'm on eight. I'm probably going to survive now using my uh, Maze of If. And I have to block. So taking four damage here. Having four life left. I mean, the only good thing about this is that Anna's hand is empty, but I can no longer activate my library because I've been forced to play out my, my removal spells. So I'm, I no longer have seven cards in hand. And for me, this, this game was just insane. It was so much fun to play against this reanimator deck and to see cards like Bazaar of Baghdad, to see cards like All Hallows Eve in action and to get board states like you just had where you have two vampires, two Suchis, two some Jin, Sarah Angel... And okay, you know, it's it's so cool to see people playing these decks. And I'm drawing a maze of if, but I've already played a land, so I cannot play. And I'm, I'm kind of showing some of my creatures. Um, I cannot play my archaeologist anymore. Uh, I cannot play anything. And I'm going down. And this is it. This is the game. So... I'm going to probably put the match online as well, but I just wanted to show you this game um, because it shows what a great deck Reanimator is. And I hope you enjoyed this match. And thank you for watching this episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And see you next time. <laughs>